what's going on guys welcome back to another video today uh, i got a little bit of something right now i'm actually gonna go meet up with a homie hopefully uh, so i'm gonna go ahead up and meet with some buddies um later on maybe i'll uh get a ride in his car he actually just got a hood exhaust or a hood exit down on his uh, gti uh it's a red one it's pretty crazy i forgot to mention something if you guys can see right there service engine soon lights on and if you go into let's see i don't know when, i don't even know if this thing shows it sometimes it shows it sometimes it doesn't let's see okay well it doesn't show it right now it just says my dsc is inactive which is my traction control but my service engine soon light is on because my dmtl pump um went out and i don't even think it was actually the car's fault it's not even like it just went out by itself pretty sure i messed up I forgot to put on the little hose. If anybody has done the uh, low pressure fuel pump install on this, these cars, there's like a big hose that goes into like the top hat. I like forgot to put that on or like it fell off or something. I don't know, I thought I put it on, but I guess I didn't. But anyways, I'm pretty sure I drowned out the DMTL um, because I went down there to check it and everything just to see if there was any fuel in the lines or anything like that. There was no fuel in the lines, but of course it's like a day and a half later um so maybe it already evaporated but then i took out the electrical like fitting for it and it was like super wet like the electrical like sensor fitting thing was super wet for it so i figured the dmtl is probably out um because it keeps telling me that um the dmtl is out it doesn't, it doesn't show like there's certain codes that the, the car will just throw for like leaks and stuff like that it doesn't show those codes it just says that the heater activation is out which i think uh, from what i read in the forum that just means that that's just the, the DMTL is getting busted basically so it's like a $70 part and it's not a hard install or anything like that but unfortunately the service engine soon light is on and um, yeah I gotta get that done soon I made it. Oh, did you just get here? How'd yeah, you do? Yeah, we just got this. Did you? How'd you run? I got this whole three, but then second gear started acting up, so I tried to launch oh, in like second. Oh, like it did like that? Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't go lock in. out. Yeah, and then I tried to launch in second, and my clutch overheated. God. So we put my Hoosiers on the gears car. Oh really? Yeah, he got the record. Oh really? He ran eleven three three. Damn, Nigel. It's like a whole darkness. Yeah. It's too fucking. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Look at the shit we're doing for you right now. Look at the shit. I'm in the car without a damn seat. Oh my god. Yeah. It like barely shoots flames. Honestly, it's kind of nice though. I got two flames. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Two flames. Don't you don't you pop and stuff still? Yeah. <laughs> But don't shoot flames. Ethanol, I'm only on like E20 right now. Why are you on E20? Shitty ethanol. Oh my god, it is a lot of shit. That's ridiculously loud. That's ridiculously loud. Is that not annoying?
one eternity later. All right, so we actually made it to this car meet. Um, this is a car meet that I don't really go to anymore because it's known for sideshows. I just don't like doing that stuff. Uh, but here you guys see it's a really, really nice E92. My buddies actually wrapped that car. It's an N55, unfortunately. Um, here you see this. Oh, this is a really, really cool wide body kit. It's actually the wide body kit I want um, on a four door. It has the trunk I want. It has the bumpers I want. The wheels look good. I don't know what wheels are on. I didn't look too close. Um, yeah, it's molded. And I think it was painted. This is actually probably the clip that I'm talking to the owner of the car. He's like getting in. I don't know if he was trying to do that like uh, alpha shit where you, know, you pretend you want to grab something from the car. But you see someone looking at the car. But it's really cool, like baseball interior. I think it's or whatever it's called, baseball color, brown. I think. <clears throat> but anyways, I was asking him about the car. He literally said that all he knows is that it has bags, and a custom bumper, and then it's wide body. And and he said the wide body was custom, but it's not. It's a hard motorsport wide body. Let me know if you guys like this wide body because I'm going to be doing this wide body eventually. I just want to focus on the, the turbo kit first before I do this. So, yeah. Bro, dude getting arrested or something. <laughs> Stop literally at every intersection. Every intersection. Alright, sorry it's me again. Um, I know this is like a mumbo jumbo video, but believe it or not, this was all one day. Uh, next thing we're going to be doing is actually going to a Mexico night later that night. Same night. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening today, so I kind of just want to do some uh, voiceovers to let you guys know where we're going and what we're doing. So... It's supposed to be a good night, but uh, I'll let you guys be the judge if you think it's a good night. Taking a fat, fat L. Let's we'll still talk about it. Car made it out. I don't think anybody got hit, but boom, they're already here, already waiting for us. So one car sped up over there, one car's back there. I don't know if you guys can see him, and there's one behind us. So we'll see if we get pulled over tonight. Odds are kind of high right now. I don't know how they knew we would come here. Maybe that's just something that happens every time. We just instead of going there, we come here. I don't know. That's very very interesting. But um, yeah, they haven't put any lights on yet, but. We'll see what, what's gonna happen. I don't know, maybe the night's gonna be shut short. We got one run in. Sad, very sad. I'm supposed to race this Mustang right here, but you know, oh, let's pull somebody over over there. I don't know who it is, let's go see who it is. Oh no, they got the fucking S4, dude. at this moment that he knew he fucked up Hell no! all right boys all right let me pull off these windows all right so that's gonna be it it for me tonight yeah we got one run in it was against a really fast car and you guys like if you
you guys don't know me, I personally like to line up against fast cars instead of just trying to be slow cars. So we had a ZL1 or ZLR, or I think that's what the name, what, this, what is this guy doing? All right. uh, ZLR, I think that's the badge Corvette, a C6. I don't know, it's like 600 something crank. So I'm gonna guess 550 wheel. It seemed like it. I mean, at most I'd be making like 400 wheel, I think. Maybe, I don't know, I'm on the OTS map, you guys know that. So, um, yeah, because of that, you know, I, I figured that's what was gonna happen. Um, yeah, I was supposed to run the S4, as you guys probably saw, he got pulled over, and then the Mustang. Unfortunately, we didn't get either of those. Actually, I had a 340i that was um, downpipe tuned and custom custom as well, uh, what do you call it, custom, uh, custom tuned as well. Um, so, you know, I, the night, it's always like this. It's almost like going out to these run nights is kind of a little bit uh, sketchy just because there's so many people, there's a lot of heat. It is what it is. Maybe I'll try to hit up, uh, you know, them just to, to do single rolls. Some dude's flying by me. I don't know who this guy is. Okay, just a random car. It's another one. It's a Mark 7. Interesting. Well, anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for tonight, for tonight you guys. Uh, hopefully it was a good day. At least. Um, yeah, peace out. See you guys next time.